If software is not installing on your Windows laptop, don't worry, this is a common issue and easy to fix once we find the cause. Step-by-step -step guide to fix software not installing issue in Windows 1. Run installer as administrator. Right-click the setup file. Click run as administrator. Many apps need admin permission to install. 2. Check compatibility. Make sure the software supports your Windows version, Windows 10, 11, 25H2, etc. Right-click setup, properties, compatibility tab, run compatibility troubleshooter. 3. Disable antivirus or Windows Defender temporarily. Sometimes antivirus blocks installers. Turn off real-time protection in Windows security, virus and threat protection, manage settings, toggle off, re-enable it after installation. 4. Free up disk space. Go to settings, system, storage, delete temporary and unwanted files, use disk cleanup or clean MGR command. 5. Check Windows Installer Service Press Win Plus R. Type services.msc. Enter. Find Windows Installer. Right click. Start or restart. Try installing again. 6. Update Windows. Go to Settings. Windows Update. Check for updates. Some apps need latest Windows components. .NET Framework. Visual C++ Redistributables. 7. Use Troubleshooter. Go to Settings. System. Troubleshoot. Other troubleshooters. Run Program Install and Uninstall Troubleshooter. You can also download it from Microsoft's website. 8. Try in Safe Mode. If something blocks installation, press Win plus R, type M's config, boot tab, check safe boot, minimal, restart, install software, uncheck safe boot later to return to normal mode. 9. Clear temporary setup files. Press Win plus R, type percent temp percent, delete all files. This removes corrupted temporary files that block new installations. 10. Use command prompt for .msi, .exe issues. If it's a .msi installer, msi exec, oct i, path tomb installer, .msi. If it fails, the message will tell you what's wrong, permissions, missing components, etc. Extra tip, if your installer crashes without error, it could be corrupted installer file, try re-downloading it. Wrong architecture, install 64-bit app on 64-bit Windows or 32-bit app on 32-bit system.